So at SendGrid, we mostly send a lot of email. Uh, we kind of break it down into two sides. We do transactional email and we do marketing email. When you get out of your Uber, they send you a receipt. That comes through our platform, and that's kind of the one-to-one -one, uh, messaging that we call transactional. On the marketing side, it's uh, more for people who want to log in. They have a list of contacts that they upload. Um, there's a drag-and-drop editor on the website where they can create content you know, that's uh, valuable to their users. So SendGrid sends at tremendous volume right now. We're over 30 billion emails a month right now. That data, as it flows through our system, is substantial. Being able to make small tuning changes to our database access just have tremendous overall impact to the system. Our entire infrastructure and environment is growing. You know, we keep having to add servers to handle the extra load. But um, the databases do not have to scale at the same rate as the rest of the mail pipeline. We have something like 30 clusters of MySQL, um, close to 200 servers. Uh, by the way, all of that being managed by one DBA, Sylvia, who's tremendous. But the only reason she's able to effectively manage a fleet of servers that large is because of tools like Vivid Cortex and the, the insight that it gives her. Before we had Vivid Cortex, the, the situation would involve having to deploy open source tools like Percona Toolkits, PT Stock, or use low query logs, try and capture the same issue in a second or third time in the act and have to collect as much data as possible, and then grabbing all this information and looking through these logs to try and find a theme and try to figure out what went wrong. And with me being the only DBA in-house, it used to involve a lot of cycles that I typically didn't have, and so I would have to offload that work to third-party consultants. Now with Vivid Cortex, whenever we have an issue that is impacting the mail processing throughput, we can very quickly go and see right away what was running at that time, what was the most expensive query, what was taking up all the load. Uh, within an hour or two of looking into a situation, we can typically figure out exactly what Jira board to go to and say you need to add an index or you need to add caching or you need to do this or that. I just literally exited a planning session for our first quarter work and we're talking about specifically modifying a system that helps vet people when they log into our platform and then rolling that out and once we roll that out we'll be monitoring the success of the performance improvements of that work using tools like the root cortex. So we really drive hard to be able to pay attention to all of these different uh, signals to help us make really smart decisions. We use Sensu to monitor um, and Graphite to instrument and to kind of present the, the instrumentation. Um, but it doesn't give you a lot of insight into what's happening inside the database and at the performance layer. And Vivid Cortex gives us that insight. That was a gap that we had. Um, you know, slow query logs will help you to a certain extent. Um, but if the query isn't slow, if there's just a lot of those same queries happening, then you're not going to get that out of the, sw the slow query log. So Vivid Cortex kind of fit really nicely into that gap and give us a lot of visibility into an area that we hadn't had any visibility into before. So we've used Vivid Cortex probably about two months on the team that I was working with. So we were looking all over the system at metrics from uh, other systems as well to try and dig into the code and find out where we could get the biggest gains. Uh, we cut down a huge amount of the load on the databases and the systems that access the databases over the course of this. And a good chunk of that was stuff we identified from the side of Vivid Cortex. You know, to go like, well, why are we running this query literally a billion times a day? <laughs> We're no longer running that a billion times a day. <laughs>